A growing number of Christians are now non-denominational, especially young Christians. But what does this mean? The stereotype is that non-denominationals are those rock concert megachurches with coffee shops and televangelist preachers, but this isn't necessarily true. A non-denominational church is just any church that's not part of a larger organization or tradition. A lot of people want this because denominations divide the church. But the name non-denominational is very misleading because every non-denominational church is its own denomination, so non-denominational is actually infinitely denominational. Denominations are actually a confession of unity around a set of beliefs. Every non-denominational pastor is the pope of his own church, and because there's no accountability structure between non-denominational churches, there's nothing stopping them from each going their own way. In the Bible, Jesus prays that all Christians would be united. And this isn't just a spiritual unity, because the Nicene Creed says that there's supposed to be just one universal church. That's why for the vast majority of church history, non-denominational churches didn't exist. Now, just because the church is supposed to be a unified organization doesn't mean it always has been. If the church is like a window, the various splits throughout church history are like the window breaking into different pieces. But non-denominationalism doesn't put the window back together. Instead, it just further divides the window into individual grains of sand. But why do the churches need to be organizationally united? The answer is something called kingdom theology. Biblical Christianity is not just about escaping this world and going to heaven. It's about heaven and earth becoming one, and heaven colonizing earth through the church, which is the kingdom of God. And all Christians are soldiers for the kingdom of God. So for the church to have an impact on the world for God's kingdom, it needs to organize the soldiers into armies, just like it was in the Old Testament. The New Testament is careful to clarify that our battles are mainly spiritual, not physical, but battles nonetheless. The way the church has historically conquered the world is by starting the modern university system, by inventing classical music, by starting the modern hospital system, and the universities of the church invented modern science. The church was able to do all these things because it was organized and powerful and established. These are ways organized institutional churches have spread the kingdom of heaven here on earth. Individually, non-denominationals are often great soldiers for God's kingdom, but they can't have much of an impact on the outside world because they're not part of an organized army. So how much more strong would the armies of the mainline churches be if non-denominational individuals would just join them? Because of how they're structured, there are three things non-denominational churches lack. Tradition, resources, and influence on the world. Let's talk about tradition. You can tell just walking into a non-denominational church that it doesn't feel like a traditional church. All the different mainstream Christian denominations have tradition, even if they have different traditions, because they are all rooted in the early church, and they are all organizationally descended from the early church. However, because all non-denominational churches sprouted up pretty recently, they are by definition not traditional. And tradition isn't just about aesthetics, it's also about beliefs. Most non-denominational churches don't talk about the church fathers, don't use the creeds of the early church, and don't care a lot about the sacraments. Most non-denominational churches don't have these traditional elements of Christianity. A big reason non-denominational churches usually don't have beautiful traditional buildings and music is because they don't have the resources. Mainline churches are large organizations that have tons of resources that they have stored up over the years, with generations and generations of people donating to them. But non-denominational churches always have to start from scratch. And by the way, resources doesn't just mean money. Resources also includes property, universities, summer camps, media publications, and libraries. The Bible says the church needs to share all of its resources. That's why non-denominationalism is unbiblical, because it prevents churches from having enough resources. Why does it matter for the church to possess these things? So the church can have an impact on the world. For starters, many of the most influential universities were founded by Bible-believing Christians, but it was always by established Christian denominations. Non-denominationals have never founded a highly rated university. Wait, but what about my Bible college? I said a highly rated university. Also, Christians have historically obeyed Jesus' command to heal the sick by building the best hospitals in the world. There's tons of Catholic and Presbyterian hospitals. There's a reason so many hospitals have the word saint in the name, but are there any non-denominational hospitals? 
Now, all this being said, non-denominational individuals are still true Christians. They are saved by their faith in Jesus, not by being in the right church organization. They're often some of the most passionate and energetic believers you'll ever meet, and this is something that mainline Christians can really learn from. But still, non-denominationalism is unbiblical, because in the Bible, God's people always operate as a united front that shares their resources rather than a ton of separate organizations that happen to agree with each other. Yes, there have tragically been many splits in church history, but this is not a good thing. None of us wanted this. Every church should try to be organizationally connected to as many other churches as possible. We have seen the fruits of non-denominationalism. As non-denominationalism has risen in the West, Christianity overall has fallen, partly because Christians have no longer been presenting a united front against the world. So what should you do if you are non-denominational? Well, first of all, you should pray and read the Bible before making any major decision, but a lot of people know non-denominationalism is wrong, but they're still attached to their non-denominational church because they have a very nice community where they feel at home, and this is understandable. But Christians are not called to go where we feel at home. We are not called to find safe spaces. Christians are called to serve God's army and be soldiers for God's kingdom, so you should go where you can do that best. If you decide to join a denomination, we have a map in the description of this video of churches in mainline denominations that still teach the Bible.